Hiya, I'm gonna show you this makeup look from scratch today. It's a really simple kind of shadow technique to do your eyeliner. And June, you'd asked me a while ago to show some of my favorite things from Lancome. So that's what I've done today. I hope you enjoy. As always, everything I've used is listed in the description of the video. So if you click to make it full screen, the title will come up along the top, click the arrow next to it and a full list of everything will drop down. But by all means, feel free to use these tips and techniques with whatever you've already got in your makeup bag. Okay, one of the nearby gardens is doing some work, so I'm hoping you can hear me. I don't think it's gonna be that loud, but if there is any background noise, that's what it is. I'm gonna start with some CC cream in the shade Light Medium. Um, since I've gone a bit blonder, I haven't put any tan on yet because I'm wondering what it's gonna look like now that I've gone this blonde. Um, so I've dropped down a tiny bit into shade Light Medium, and I'm just gonna start by really concentrating this in the areas that I need the most coverage and then trying to keep it a bit softer everywhere else. Now, speaking of tan, what I do when I do my tan is I do the whole face and I avoid the eye area because I get a little patch of eczema on there sometimes and the tan can really aggravate it. So I never do my eyes. And recently a few people have said, do I use something brighter on my eyes to brighten them up? And it's not that I've used anything, it's just that the rest of my face is more golden than the eye area. But Pamela, you wanted to see some tips or tricks for kind of brightening the eye area. I'm going to take a tiny bit more of that, actually. I'm just going to use some concealer. And in particular, I'm going to really concentrate on the inner um, sockets, because actually I feel like this is an area that can be really easily missed. In particular, if you're looking at yourself forward on in the mirror, you're not necessarily looking into those little crevices, but actually they can have quite a bit of darkness in them and brightening that up can make a really big difference instantly. So I'm just gonna take a nice sheer wash of this. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And I'm using a nice fluffy brush so that I don't overload the eye area, but that there is a little wash of colour everywhere. And I would say in particular for brightening the eye area, um, it might be worth looking at a shade slightly fairer than your eye colour, or alternatively, using a colour corrector rather than a concealer. Because let's say, for example, if you have a lot of blue under the eyes, a peach will colour correct it and make it look that bit brighter. Okay, now I'm just gonna set this with a tiny bit of powder down the T-zone. And then I'm also gonna make sure that nothing is in any fine lines with that concealer. And while that is freshly kind of primed, I'm gonna set that eye area with some powder. And that way, I feel like literally, if you set your concealer with some powder the second you've got it on, it really, really helps to prevent it from sitting into any lines. Okay, just quickly, I'm gonna get my eyebrows into shape and then I'm gonna use this palette today. I've never used it before. I love this chocolatey brown, I love this shimmer, but I feel like we need a mid-brown to kind of frame it all. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with some bronzer and I'm gonna take this on a blending brush and just go kind of above the natural crease of the eye. Now, this is really lovely um, as a single step. If you've gone for a bit of a bronze complexion, this really pulls everything together. But if you're experimenting with slightly different colours than you're used to, um, it's really great for kind of marrying everything together. Now, I'm using a bronzer shade on me. For you, what I would suggest is find a shade that's a couple of shades deeper than your complexion to do this step with, and that will look different for everybody. Now, I'm going to take some of this soft brown and just start to gently trace the eye line. Um, the shimmer looks absolutely beautiful, but if I put that on first and then tried to do the brown, it's going to dilute the brown. So instead, I'm going to get my darkest colour on first and then go back and add a pop of that shimmer just to the centres of the lids. And I'm just smudging the inner kind of section of that because I don't want it to feel like too harsh of a line 
I really just want a soft wash of this that kind of gets deeper and into this flicked edge. And the lovely thing about this particular brown, it's more of a mahogany. And so the warmth from it is gonna make blue eyes pop, but also anything with that kind of warm undertone, whether you have brown eyes, green, hazel, gray, blue, whatever color they are, this will really help to just brighten the little bit of color in them. Okay, that feels good to me. I'm now gonna take my ring finger and some of this kind of uh, champagne pink shimmer and trace this really gently over the lid. It's really subtle, but that little hint of shimmer just makes everything um, a little bit more pulled together. And it's the smallest step that if you were having photos taken or like going to a wedding or something, it would really come up in the photos. Now I'm loving the brown. I've just sharpened this liner, so I'm gonna get it a tiny bit more blunt. This is the Pixie uh, Black Caviar. It's like a black brown. I'm gonna line my eyes with this. Okay, I'm really liking that. However, I do just wanna pull the whole thing together. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that same brown and just run it gently under this lash line. Okay, eyes are done. I'm gonna to start to warm everything else up and I'm using a nice fluffy brush with my bronzer. The more large or fluffy that your brush is, the softer the wash of colour will be. So if you want something really kind of sculpted and contoured, start using a smaller brush and a bit more pressure. And if you want more of a wash of radiance, get yourself the largest brush you can and really gently touch the skin. You don't wanna to use too much pressure because that will lift your makeup off as opposed to building it up. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with a touch of this Vibrant Coral blush. I'm picking this up on a little stippling brush because again, if I were to swipe this on, it will potentially lift the coverage I've built. So by picking it up with a brush, I have more control to press it rather than rub it in. And that way I'm just placing this colour onto the cheeks, building the coverage. And these are actually really, really sheer. They're very soft and pretty, but you do need to layer them to be able to see that peachy flush. And so it's much better to press it on because by the time you'd have layered it with the stick, you would have used a lot of pressure. I might actually just see if this gets a tiny bit stronger by patting it in with my fingers, I think it has. And if TikTok has taught us one thing, don't forget the bridge of your nose. And then lips wise, I'm gonna use, this is probably my favorite Lancome thing. It's number 125 lipstick. And one of the things that's lovely about the Lancome lipsticks is they have that really powdery, nostalgic smell. Um, it just really reminds me of my auntie and always like getting makeup out of her bag. And there is actually um, a Chanel fragrance called Missia and it smells like that powdery lipstick. It's absolutely beautiful. But if you like that kind of um, really quite retro lipstick smell, the Lancome lippies are where they are. But there we are, nice and soft and fresh. I hope you enjoyed. Um, as always, please feel free to let me know if there's anything in particular you wanna see a video on and I'll chat to you very soon. Take care.